Hello Scorpio, welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you another weekly love read. Today we're going to take to the cards and find out who is thinking about you. This is a love read. If you are not dealing with anyone in love, you can substitute this for perhaps somebody else. It is a general reading Scorpio, so just take what speaks for you and leave what doesn't. Should you enjoy the reading? Should you connect to the messages that are coming through? If you feel like you're getting value or something out of this reading, then please show your support in any way, which way you can. You can do that, Scorpio, by liking, sharing and subscribing. It would be greatly appreciated. And of course, it would help the growth of my channel. For the returning Scorpios out there, thank you so much for your support. It really does mean the world. And for you passing Scorp passing by Scorpios, I really do hope you get something out of this reading here today. All right, let's dive on in. We are going to take a look at who this person is that is thinking about you. We are going to be using the Animal Spirit cards for this part of the reading. Let's dive on in now and ask Spirit Angels and Guides who is thinking about Scorpio. For the Scorpios that are tuning into this reading, Spirit, who is thinking about Scorpio? <clears throat> okay, that was a sign to stop. <laughs> Who is thinking about Scorpio? Okay. Oh, first card that came flying out of the deck was the dragonfly. This is air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Could be a strong air sign here, but you're definitely on this person's mind. Who is thinking about Scorpio? Mm. We've got double air energy, guys. We've got the bee spirit. Could be someone that you work with. Could be someone that works as part of like some kind of team. Because um, the bee is like teamwork. Okay, collaboration. Maybe this person collaborates with, with a lot of people. Maybe they uh, they form part of a team environment at work. Maybe they play like a team sport. This is someone who could be a really great team player. Someone who you can really work with. Um, <clears throat> collaborate with. We've got the crocodile here too. Downward pointing triangle does represent water, the element of water. So it could be that this person is a water sign as well. I do feel like this person has their eye on you with the crocodile. But I feel that this person doesn't talk about their feelings. Okay, this person may act like they're tough um, or they don't care. Because the crocodile skin is tough. So I'm getting like externally this person might act like they're tough or they don't care or they don't have any feelings. But they are observing you. They are watching you. I do have to say with the bee, the bee can sting. So I feel like there's a, there's a side to this person that could be quite sarcastic. And it's to, it's, it's coming from an emotional place. We can see here this person can be quite emotional but they kind of like hide it behind sarcasm. I feel that this person could have a tendency with their words to sting or hurt or upset. But ultimately, I feel with the B spirit that this is someone who is a hard worker. You may know this person through a social group. I do feel like there's a very sociable side 
to this person. Uh, this person may be a heavy networker. Okay, I'm seeing something about networking here. Networking with a lot of people. Mm. There's something fragile about this person too. It could be their emotions and feelings that make this person very fragile or very sensitive. I do feel like this is someone who is quite sensitive by nature because I'm looking at the dragonfly's wings and the wings are very fragile. So I'm translating that into sensitivity, hence why they're very sharp with their tongue or they're very sarcastic at times. But when they are sarcastic, there's an element of truth attached to that. Okay, and emotions here with the crocodile don't lie. You know, emotions, we, we can't hide our emotions. There's so much truth uh, attached to the way we feel. But I do feel that this person thinks about you quite heavily. So let's find out why. Scorpio, why this person thinks about you. <clears throat> Spirit, angels and guides, why does this person who is thinking about Scorpio think about them? <laughs> why do they think about them? What's the reason behind why this person cannot stop thinking about Scorpio? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, guys, if it is resonating so far. First card coming through is the Eight of Cups, the Five of Cups reversed, the High Priestess, yep, the Six of Wands, the Hanged Man reverse, and the Ace of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Six of Pentacles reversed. <clears throat> the Hermit, Virgo energy. This person is single, I feel, with the Hermit card. We, we've got the Knight of Wands here too. I do feel like this person is very much unattached or single. Even with the Knight of Pentacles reverse here. Look, we've got three knights in a row, guys, which is seriously telling me here that this person is single right now. They're unattached. I don't know even if they're available or they seriously want anything here. Um, I do feel with the Knight of Wands that this person is someone who is inconsistent, okay? They could be a bit of a player. I feel like this person is attracted to you, but ultimately with the Hermit, this person is quite happy to remain solo for now, okay? Even with the Six of Pentacles reverse, this person isn't really looking for a relationship, Mm. I don't feel like they're looking for something serious, you know. I feel with the Ace of Cups here, the reason why this person thinks about you is because ultimately um, you do make this person feel good. You know, the Ace of Cups would suggest good feelings, good vibes, um, interest. But it is an Ace. They like that feeling of when you first meet somebody and it's really heady and intoxicating and there's a beautiful overflow of emotions. Yeah. Even with the High Priestess here, the reason why this person thinks about you is because with the High Priestess, they can't recognise it as this, but there is some kind of spiritual connection. There could be 
some lessons that they need to learn from this connection. They could be learning how to love through your connection, through, through you, Scorpio. Learning how to deeply love or, or learn how to love like a Scorpio loves, you know, intensely. Um, deeply. This person is thinking about you uh, because they are thinking about coming forward and having some kind of victory with you here. Perhaps with the Eight of Cups, this person was someone who walked away from you or turned their back on you. Maybe this person feels that you walked away from them, Scorpio, because you were not happy. Now it's like they're coming in trying to be the good guy, the good girl. Um... Or, no, that's not really the word. They want to come in being the nice guy or the nice girl. Because, again, remember with the with the dragonfly, I said that there's something fragile about this person or this situation. Maybe there's an element of guilt attached to um, making you upset or hurting you in some way. And it's like, no, I've got to come in and... It's kind of like they've got to recover their reputation here by showing you like a nicer side. I, I don't feel like they're mean. I don't feel like this is a mean person. But it can come across, the way they can come across is very hurtful. And again, even with the Five of Cups reversed, there's a regret here. Okay, this person regrets hurting you or saying some mean things to you with the B here. Okay. But again, I feel like it comes from like an emotion that um, they suppress or they don't want to look at themselves. Like that, are, they're suppressing this emotion. They don't want to take accountability. But I do feel after some time they do reflect about what they did with the hanged man reverse here. <clears throat> For some of you, this person thinks about you because they're thinking about maybe starting something here with you or having a new beginning here with you. But again, I don't feel like this will develop into something serious. I, I just don't get it. Sorry, Scorpio, if you're looking for something um, serious with this person, I don't feel like this is your reading. I don't feel like this is your person. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the action that they will take. I mean, the actions might show something differently. Spirit, angels and guides, what action will this person take towards Scorpio? The full in reverse, the death card reversed. The Queen of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, the Nine of Pentacles reversed. The Sun. And the Page of Swords reversed. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the Six of Swords reversed. So I feel like this person will return back to you. Okay. And I feel like it'll happen quite suddenly or quickly. If you know who I'm talking about, this person um, isn't sort of ready to sort of walk away. Um, I feel like they're returning back to you, but I feel like it'll happen quickly or suddenly. Yeah, I, even with the death card reversed, I get the sense that this person doesn't want things to end or end badly or end bitterly between you. So I feel like with the sun card here, they want to sort of end things on a good note because it is sitting on the death card. Okay, they kind of want to... Yeah, be on good terms with you here. 
Could be a Leo here, could be another Scorpio that you're connecting to. Mm. See, this person is thinking very carefully about what they're going to do because with the full in reverse here, it tells me here that this person doesn't want to make some kind of mistake. Whatever they do here now, um, they don't want to come across acting or looking like an idiot. Sorry, but that's how I feel. They don't want to lead you on here either with the full okay they know that they're not looking for anything serious but they don't want to lead you on or mislead you as well i feel with the nine of pentacles in reverse that this person's quite happy with the lifestyle that they have maintained for themselves because see they can see that you want maybe you're single scorpio maybe you're unattached they see that you want something serious here, but they don't want to mislead you or lead you on because they know you want something serious. They, they're not looking for that. Mm. I feel the action that this person will take towards you is to maybe come clean about their truth. I feel like up to this point, they haven't really been honest with you, Scorpio, because the Page of Swords is reversed. This is someone who is, you know, not being honest with themselves. It is a page, so they probably feel like or they think like they want something, but deep down inside, they don't. There's a misaligned energy with this person. Even with the Queen of Pentacles, she's reversed. She's not looking for anything serious. This person might be ungrounded right now. This person may not know even know what it is that they want. I get a lack of clarity or certainty around this person. You know, this person cannot give you the security or the safety or the stability that you're looking for in love. But it could be here, like I said, it could be that they want to come clean. They want to be truthful with you about it. Because I feel like up to this point, they haven't been honest and truthful to you about this. But like I said, they when they come forward, they will return. And it may even feel with the Eight of Wands overwhelming. What they say and they communicate and they express to you here could feel very overwhelming because of your feelings or the way you feel towards them or the situation. Okay. Okay. So there we have it, Scorpio. That's your reading. Hopefully that was insightful at this time. Don't forget to show your support. That would be greatly appreciated. Just hit that thumbs up button um, to let me know. And until next time, Scorpio, take care.